Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We're sat at the level crossing, but it's a bit quiet. Our construction materials train is loading, thankfully. And uh, it should be making its way up to Montgomery shortly. Now today we're going to take our foot off the gas a little bit as far as building is concerned. As uh, the last episode was a little bit hectic, wasn't it? We got a lot done. And today we need to check on some numbers. See if we can figure out what sort of line rate we need. Passenger wise, heading up the hill. Up, well, it's up and down the hill, isn't it? And uh, yeah, we might need some new traction on there and a few more carriages. All right, you eyes up. We have a fortune in the bank. 46 million, nearly 47 million. That soon went up, didn't it? So all of our freight lines have uh, started to pay out, haven't they? And our passenger line is chipping in a little bit. Shall we watch our uh, Conmat train head off up the hill? Well, it won't be up the hill yet. It's actually flat, isn't it? All the way down to the steelworks. Across to the steelworks? It'll be across, wouldn't it? Because it's sort of heading east. Yeah, we're looking south. Oh yes, the whistle boards. Love it. So there we go. Construction materials on the way. Uh, what is the line rate on these trucks now? We should have uh, settled down a little bit. 104. I think that's all we need to start with. Consumers. 95 we're shipping. Yeah, so we're within the range. And I think it's only 100 from the quarry as well although that has to settle down a little bit which train is that coming through the tunnel the other way oh it's a passenger train isn't it yeah they don't half steam through there oh dear there we go whistling across the crossing <laughs> they have a much longer uh, whistle than uh, the other guys that we've got running the trains but we may have to change him because he's not going to make it up the hill. I mean, they're pretty nippy, but not nippy enough up the hill. Especially if we're going to add more carriages on here. And they're quite heavy, these US carriages. Yeah, 118. I don't think that's going to change much. It may fluctuate a little bit. So, how many people are heading to Montgomery, 131, that's not bad, is it? So that's about the line rate we need. I tend to take the maximum of these two numbers and use that as the line rate. I'm not actually sure what these numbers, well, I know they mean, <laughs> I know they mean that's how many people are traveling there, but in what time frame? I'm just gonna go with annually. So the same as the line rate. It'll do, won't it? We do have a competing road However, it's only partially upgraded. <laughs> Where we go? Where we've worked on it. There's a lot of dirt roads still involved. Uh, and I guess in 1928, that may have been the case. It's kind of realistic. Shall we also check on Montgomery? We have 122 heading to Palmdale. So uh, we want to go with the largest number. And our line rate as we saw earlier, was uh, 118, and it hasn't changed. Shouldn't be too difficult, I don't think, to reach 140 or 50. That should be good for now, shouldn't it? And then we can improve it later on. Do you know what we're missing here? It would be nice to have some signals across here, wouldn't it? Currently, it's just the invisible ones at the end of the platform that it's using. But we have the, an opportunity here to have a, a nice gantry system running across these four tracks. So that's what we're doing. They're going to be mainly just single, aren't they, like these? Yes, because there's only one route available on this one. And we do want these two-way. We don't want anything there because that's running the opposite way. And we need another one here to make sure they're lined up as well. They've got to sit on the same gantry i mean we could just use those couldn't we instead yeah do you know what these might make more sense except for that one yes and um, we'll have the uh the high visibility ones where you can see them further away 
<laughs> That's what I'm going to say that is. Right, that one there. Are they lined up? They look lined up. What's this coming through here? That is... Oh, the timing is perfect. That's our... Uh, construction materials, isn't it? Right, and that one... There. Okay, we didn't destroy our train. Perfect. They look a bit floaty and weird at the moment, but that will change. Right, so this is our first delivery, isn't it? I don't think you've had any uh, construction materials just yet. No, so the growth won't change until now. There we go, we're delivering. We should have the storage here, shouldn't we? Terminals, oh yeah, you've, it defaults to passenger. We need to make sure we click on our freight there. We store 300. That should be more than enough. I don't think the train even carries that, does it? No, 132. So we've got lots of room. I love this. I absolutely love these uh, these new warehouses. So we've only got one truck running this, which is obviously not going to be enough. Um, uh, but it's... Uh, well, I say it's not going to be enough as long as we meet the minimum, which would be this, at 95, which is going to go up. I guess we just duplicate this a few times and start clearing this platform. Manage vehicles. We'll buy a couple. There we go. We'll see what that does for the line rate numbers. I mean, it's not the longest of journeys, is it? It's only down there. We've got 55 already. One more then. We'll have four running it. And then uh, we'll check back on that and uh, see what the line rate's up to. It's always a bit guesstimatey to begin with. It's very busy at the bus stops, isn't it? It's nice to see. Is this another passenger train on the way? It is. No, they, uh, the last one was combat. Enjoy the floating signal, sir. Well, I guess we should finish that, really, shouldn't I? Oh dear, oh dear. Right. We need these, and we need you four wide, and that should be everything we need. Will that... Oh, it's perfect. Oh, it's not, is it? These don't really work like that. Oh, actually, if we go one back, I think that's how they sit, isn't it? They're leaning forward, and they're bolted down there. Yeah, that's actually kind of nice. I think they're actually bolted in multiple places. Yeah, these first three planks, that's where they'd be through. That should be enough strength for a signal, shouldn't it? I'm pretty sure they're quite light. There we go, that's nice, isn't it? Already adds to it. And here as well, likewise, we could add a little bit of scenery here. Oh, although that's on a curve. That would be really awkward. So we'll probably need some some normal signals here, possibly. Just something like that. Well, at least on the outside, anyway. Uh, so one, one there. And then that one's going to have to be something different. I might go with a uh, dwarf signal because of how it sits. Yeah, we could just sit that one down there. Maybe. Yeah, that kind of works, doesn't it? Otherwise, these actually lean over far too much. If uh, I can demonstrate. There you go. You can see they're right over the track there. So I prefer these. Just when it's on a double track like this. Otherwise, we have this fantastic gantry system running. Now, we need to have a word with our bridge construction crew and our road crews because they're not communicating at all and i'm not sure when this happened the bridge looks okay it actually looks like there's a bit of a bow in it but that isn't the issue this is the problem i'm not sure when that happened at all it must have been oh do you know it was probably when i did the crossover yeah it decided to put an extra pillar down and completely ignore the road that's going underneath it I'm a little worried this might crash the game, but uh, we haven't really done much. We've stuck some signals in. Will it crash the game? No, it won't, but we need that curvy, don't we? Are you not going to move that? Is that because of the crossover on the brick? Well, that's terrible. <laughs> it's just completely ignoring it. I really would like you to notice that there's a road underneath and allow me to build build a, a crossing maybe if we look under the bridge while i'm doing this we can we can see when it puts the foot down there there right it'll be a bit slower 
but it's not causing traffic hazards underneath. There we go. There we go. Right, we fixed that. Obviously, it doesn't actually affect the traffic in Transport Fever. It's purely cosmetic. Yeah, the, these structures mean nothing. But it looked awful, didn't it? And now I'm happy with it. It would appear Montgomery have built a city road out here. Now that's interesting because uh, they've slowed down their own main road to Palmdale. So they're helping us out. Wait, did they, did they do the rest while I was looking? No, it ends here. You can see the pavement drops down there and then we've got, this is a hard shoulder. Well, oh, Montgomery now accepts new cargo. And Montgomery now accepts fuel. The thing with the new demand is look how low it is. That's like a wagon on the back of our our combat train, isn't it? We could take a bit of fuel from here and send it up the hill. Because we have... What's the line rate down here? Our line rate for our fuel line, although we could upgrade it on the John Taylor fuel corridor, we don't have to, do we? No, because we have a line rate of 262 and Palmdale is a long way off requiring 262. If we combine... Oh, let's keep that up. If we combine Palmdale and Montgomery's demand for fuel, it's 8 plus... Uh, what have we got? 104, so 112. We're a long way off, uh, off that. I would imagine Palmdale might be requesting some more items soon. But yeah, we could do something with that. We could take some of that fuel from here up to uh, up to Montgomery. We would need another drop-off, which could be kind of awkward. We do have two platforms here. I say then... Let's do it. Let's uh, get some fuel up there. Where is our construction materials train? Where are you? We only need to uh, take, what, a, a couple of wagons up there? I think we've got the power on here, surely. What's our line rate for construction materials? Our line rate is... Yeah, uh, that's this... Uh, where are you? 109. It's about there, isn't it? We would have to take off load until full, I think, unless unless we have a fuel train on the way. Uh, I don't know whether it will shift any of the goods from across there over to here. Not now. These are already uh, orders that have been taken in Palmdale and are just waiting to be taken in via our trucks. How could we work this? Full load. We could go full load any... But that means we'd leave if the if the fuel filled up. I don't want to do that. <laughs> no. Could we make this work? What do we need? We need cargo wagons. A couple of these tankers. They carry 12. If we add two on the back, I'm not sure what it's going to do to how this is set up, but we'll see. If we have to wait... For the fuel. Oh yes, we're going to need to change the line, aren't we? Uh, we may be only picking up certain things. Which is correct. Yeah, we want to be have 100% construction materials. And 100%, I think, <laughs> fuel. And out here, we are going to have to unload all of our fuel. Right, that should work, shouldn't it? Now, it should trigger demand. I don't know if you're going to pull any fuel from anywhere else. It might take a long time. So we may have to manually move this and flip it. We need the demand there, though. Where is our fuel train? I can't see you. You probably... Oh, we do have one on the way back. It has 69 fuel. It should push demand, though, up this end. Um, consumers. Yeah, that one's... Asking for all 200, so that's good news. And consumers here, it's saying Palmdale 104, not saying Montgomery just yet. 
because oh yes yes what do i need to do we need to set up the delivery don't we from uh, from this station so that's a new line we should be able to take it to the same place there it is there's just one building that is that the only uh fuel that's fine isn't it we can take it on the same truck then will that work do you take everything uh manage vehicles what do you actually take do you take all the th oh we've got fuel trucks oh that's a shame we could use the same stock though couldn't we there's no need to uh share this i mean i, I think these carry everything anyway let's take another look do you carry everything yeah you carry everything we could do that you'd see little barrels on the back that's kind of nice isn't it manage line you're gonna do fuel as well hopefully that will trigger demand this will be an interesting setup if it does work right let's hit play we need to go head over here and see if we get demand there we go montgomery has sent some orders in so some of the fuel produced at the clear water fuel refinery is now going to make its way all the way down the eastern corridor on the john taylor fuel corridor which uh it, uh, it was mentioned in the comments it does sound a little bit like a band doesn't it the john taylor fuel corridor i don't know what sort of music they would play maybe uh 80s hair rock who knows right you are going to get more orders we're obviously not keeping up with this but we don't need to we could but that's going to mean a lot of messing around on this line today and i don't want to do that i want to get this uh, fancy new uh, new line up and running i don't think you're gonna pick up any fuel just yet so what we're gonna do is we're gonna send you on your way and by the time you get back no it won't be by the time you get back but you should eventually start filling up what's going to be difficult now is is figuring out exactly what the line rate is for fuel it would be nice if um, this line rate when you hovered over it said how much of that is construction materials in this case and how much would be fuel but it is mathable at the very least if you can just work it on percentages what I'm curious about is this, how this will all work, not with that, not with a bus station. There we go, is whether we can have mixed goods in here. I think you can, I'm just not 100% on that. Which would be cool, wouldn't it? Because we could mix and match on the platforms. I'm a little bit worried it'll fill the platform. I'm hoping, what I'm really hoping is it'll take the fuel direct and not care about what's on the platform. But it will always take what's on the platform first. That's what I'm hoping. But it's going to be a little while before we see that. I'm hoping to eventually see some fuel on here. But uh, that's some orders away, isn't it? What do we have coming through here? Are you fuel? No, you are coal. We're going to increase the capacity of our coal line as well. That has to go up, I would say, to maybe 200. And then we have to double it. Oh, what are we waiting for? We've got red lights up here. Good timing. Is that accurate? Oh, it might be. Are we waiting? Ah, we're waiting for a train in front of us. Is it just a bit busy? What did we have? We had a passenger train scoot in front of our iron ore train there. But our iron ore train is moving. Once, once his back end passes there, you should see our coal train start to head off. There we go. Now if we go over here, our coal train's on the way as well things are moving do we have a fuel train waiting for all that malarkey going on no look at that it's it's busy but moving i mean that's what it would be wouldn't it if it's really busy sometimes you'll get trains waiting for each other there we go oh i love it it's gonna be marvelous around here isn't it when we're done i like the way we've got a bit of mixed consist going on with our fuel train now uh, not our fuel train our construction materials train that's got a couple of fuel wagons on the back which is probably where they would be as well uh, you don't want them near the uh near the engine do you with all the uh, sparks and 
goodness, hot coals and whatnot flying around. How are we doing? I don't know whether we need to do anything with these, you know. Although we don't have the line rate, we're not full either. I think we're not full in both directions. That is fine then. We're definitely only taking 118. Oh, there goes our, yep, yeah, our coal train has finally got to where our iron train is. Yeah, the, the platforms are pleasant, aren't they? I think what we'll do then is we'll just read it from the platforms. If these get too busy, we'll add more capacity to our train line. Uh, it's nice to see this number, uh, the amount of people that are actually going there. Oh yes, it's not that, is it? We've got 94%. <laughs> it's 94% of 155 are heading there again we don't have the actual numbers to hand we'd have to get calculators out and stuff and uh, yeah right you're dropping off fuel you actually fit on this platform now that's pleasant and there's even a little bit more to go expansion wise so I think we can uh, we could definitely increase the capacity there we have the room for it don't we do we have any fuel dropping over to our station? We're going to need that. Uh, not yet. We're, we're still only taking construction materials at the moment. But that's correct, isn't it? That's all earmarked for our, our trucking going into Palmdale. We'll have to wait for not this one, not the next one, but possibly. Let's close that. Possibly the one after that. I don't, oh, I don't know. It depends. We've got another new industry. There's too many industries. <laughs> There's too many industries. I'm waiting for the alert to say that these are going to close one of these before we hook them up. Because what we're going to do is just have trucking doing this. Uh, but it's not saying it's closing. I just want to respond to a closure. That's why that's left like that. We are going to do something with it though. As it's perfectly, perfectly set up, isn't it? Hey, we've got goods here, guys. We'd have to get steel up here. That's, oh, which would be this. We could take it via truck to mix things up a bit. A bit. What about plastic? Where on earth is plastic? Um, uh, plastics, nowhere. Well, actually, now I'm looking at it, we've got something as a potential west corridor. No, East Corridor. This is West, isn't it? Yes. No? Yes. <laughs> I got my bearings turned around. Did I call this the West Corridor? It's the Eastern Corridor. I don't think I did. It was just in my head. How are we doing down here? Yeah, we're going to be miles off this. At least our trucks are, are easily coping with our train at the moment. If you're empty, which I think you are, yes. I would like... To add a couple more wagons onto the back of you. I think you'll more than handle it because you're not keeping up at the moment. We're going to colour the back ones uh, back the coaly colour. We'll add a couple on there. We've got plenty of money. Now that should boost the line rate a little bit. Uh, I, why look at it, Grand? <laughs> why look at it? You know it doesn't update for an eternity. Right, so uh, yes, we've got a slightly longer coal train now. This doesn't need to be very long to keep up with our coal train. Our coal train, on the other hand, is probably going to keep growing. Away we go. We're going to tidy all this up, I think. It doesn't look great. We'll check back on all the line rates. Once that's had a few runs with its new capacity. Are you stopping there? Are we missing... Whoa, I'm missing a signal down here. Yes. I completely forgot about that. This should be a gantry. Oh, I'm not sure how it's going to be on a curve, though. Let's get us a bit of blocking down here. I don't know whether we can make this work as a gantry. We are going to try. This does need to be one way. The two on the outside can be these again and they need to be two way the one there and one oh not there what are you doing silly sausage and one there oh no that would have been fine what were you uh, complaining about yeah no you'll be fine 
It wouldn't matter if it was facing the other way, because they're, they're both two way. As far as it complaining, I'm not sure why it was complaining. It's a little bit bizarre. But anyway, uh, can we get this working with our gantry system here? I hope so. They might be a bit skew with, but no, it's working. They are slanted slightly, or they've been uh, bolting in at different, uh, different lengths, but that's fine. As long as they're all in front of the actual gantry itself. Look at the detail on this gantry here. All the rivets and stuff in there. That's marvellous, isn't it? Well done on this mod. Do love it. Yeah, it's absolutely lovely. Right, there we go. We've got a bit more blocking and a bit more scenery. I guess, given that, we need something similar down here. Would we? We would. But I'd prefer to keep the other signals down this way. Although I'm not sure what we're doing this end. So I think we're fine at the moment. I might actually just put a leany out one. Yeah, I'm going to put a leany out one, just that <laughs> technical terms. Uh, it's got a name, hasn't it? Searchlight signal cantilever. There we go. And, uh, oh, these are for bridge mount, right? Cantilever mounts. <laughs> They're named, guys. I'm pretty sure I saw that. Uh, but uh, these are all bridge mounts, and we want to look for ones that are specifically for the cantilever, which are these ones. These three. Uh, no, these two. What are you for? Uh, that's for just on the ground, so is that. There, there we go, though. We do have a couple of cantilever ones. And are we going to need this? Yes. We're going to need this to be two-way, aren't we? No. No, you're not. But we are going to need two heads. That's what you meant. There we go. Is that perfect? Oh, it's lovely. Look at that. Yes. I mean, th I think technically we might need three on that. No, it's only two, isn't it? There we go. Lovely. More blocking, guys. Fantastic. I think everything else is signaled correctly. Have you stopped messing around with our road here, bridge crew? You have. That's made everybody happier. Look at that. What are you doing? Are you in the fast lane? I mean, I guess, because technically the fast lane is the one that merges straight on, isn't it? This could be like the slow lane for trucks, and then this is the uh, the passing lane. How are we doing with our fuel situation? Are we going to get to see it today? We're going to keep an eye on our construction material train. Again, you can't just click on the station. Do you have any fuel at all on board yet? Not yet. So we're just going to send you off when you're full. Well, your capacity's not going to line up correctly, is it? No, of course it's not. We've just well and truly naffed that. Oh, I can't do quick math in percentages that are like a bizarre percentage. It's fine. As lo Well, we can go from here. This can dictate what the uh, construction materials line rate is. 105 and oh yeah if we just click on here consumers 108 okay so we're better off to have another truck now aren't we manage vehicle duplicate that would rather go over than be under that's going to fill you up just a little bit quicker yeah i just noticed all the construction materials waiting for us that'll be nice though that means you should go sooner rather than later uh, iron train on the way we're gonna have to wait to uh in fact we're not going to leave the episode today until he's full and we've turned him around again i guess we could ride up there there's a lot happening that way isn't there now yeah oh i like the idea of that we'll ride on this one guys up the hill because we'll turn it around manually uh do we have any trains full of fuel coming in where are you? It doesn't look like it. It's a very slow, slow line, isn't it, this? Yes, there you are. Well, can we afford double track it? Do we need to? I say we accept this as a, a little bit of realism. I don't know about you. I like the idea of that. Bit of realism down here. 
Because this happens, doesn't it? It's not like we're going to block each other. Yeah, we can't uh, cause deadlock with this. It does mean this one has to wait a little bit. Bit of rust there on our, our train. Oh, you're leaving a bit early. I mean, yeah, that's fine. Right, so you're off. You have 163 on board. Goodness me. What's that, like nearly half a load? Half of this train is full of fuel. Hopefully, a handful of it <laughs> is dropped off for Montgomery. But I'm really excited that we're, that's actually happening. And I can't wait to see if this works. Although, it doesn't look like we're going to do it today. But we have set it up. Look how busy it's getting in Montgomery. Goodness me. Yeah, you're getting quite busy now, aren't you? I don't think we're shifting enough people. Uh, how many people we got waiting here? 30. How many? Yeah, yeah, do, do you know what, guys? Let's uh, add another bus to the service. And what we're doing down here, I think it's going to be the same down here. Yeah, let's add another bus down here as well. Can we find a bus? There we go. Bus there. Manage. Add another one on there. There we go. We've increased the frequency of their bus service. You'll be happy now, guys. Oh, I don't know who I clicked on there. But it was built in 1927. It has uh, a vacancy for one person. And uh, yes, you're not going to get any goods. So you'll be miserable. I don't know what you're doing here, game. That is fantastic. There's the road slope. There's the uh, game's attempt at matching that slope. It's wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I don't know why that tickled me so much, but it does. That's just brilliant. I don't know what's going on there. Should we send him off and get on board, and we'll head up? We'll head up the hill to Montgomery. All right, guys, I've manually flipped us around. We are now heading up the Montgomery Climb. The Montgomery Mole Hip. No, the Montgomery Climb is fine. What are we doing next time out? We're going to see if we finally get some fuel on the back of us. At the moment, we do not. And uh, it's just default symbols down there or default cargo. Interestingly, a different one for each of the wagons. But it will load some fuel on there. There we go. That's not me whistling. That is, that's the game. Well, it's our boards, isn't it? So technically it's us that, that made that happen. I do like this. This is looking a little better now, this tunnel. It was all a bit too close to the side of the track, wasn't it? What else are we doing when we come back? Well, we're going to set up some logs to be dropped off at uh, Montgomery Station. And... We're then going to continue with those logs around through the track that isn't built yet to the uh, sawmill. And then we'll be heading back this way to drop the uh, the wood off at our whatever it is over there. What is it? Machines, I think. Yeah. And then we'll get some machines going and figure out where those are going to go. Although that's made it kind of awkward. Now we've got fuel on the back. Although... The demand's never going to be that high. It is going to be kind of nice, though, isn't it? To see not all the same wagons on the back. Oh, look at the scenery. It's lovely. That's not what I was going to say. But, uh, yes, thank you for watching, guys. I got completely distracted there. I, I'm loving this line, though. Lots to do when we come back. And until then, take care.